Yeah, it feels good. Um, getting three points on the road uh, for a playoff push is huge. Um, and I'm just kind of really proud of this group. Obviously, we kind of been through a lot the past month, but the past few weeks, we've really just been able to play in practice and kind of um, have been fluid and, you know, had the chance to play again. And um, I'm just proud that we could take that into the game, get three points on the road and yeah, go back to Orlando for our next game. Awesome, we're gonna go to Julia Poe for our first question. Hey, Erica, congrats on the win and thanks so much for the time. Um, it seems like every game this season, we've kind of just seen your confidence on the ball, just building uh, game after game and really saw that encapsulated tonight with that assist. Um, how have you felt that? Kind of where do you feel that your confidence is at and just how you're able to grow into these games and into this midfield with, with more uh, games building on each other? Yeah, um, obviously taking a year off kind of, you know, takes its toll on you. Just the speed of the um, game um, is a little bit to catch on to. But um, yeah, I feel like my confidence has slowly been building. And then obviously getting Becky and Alan in uh, only helps that because um, I think they kind of know the type of player I am and they encourage me to take chances and be creative offensively. Um, and I think that only gives me more confidence. And then obviously when we play together more and more as a group, we get to know each other, each other's tendencies. Um, and yeah, we've just been having a lot of fun lately playing. So go to Mike Romajo. Hey, Erica, thanks for the time and, and congrats on the victory today. Uh, Jody just spoke a, a moment ago about how Becky has allowed the team to play with a little bit more freedom. Obviously, you're a little more familiar with Becky, but how, how has that freedom allowed you to play with a little bit more confidence? And I don't know if you can kind of walk us through that, that assist where you kind of just um, beat two defenders and then you found Sid wide open to, to get that goal. Yeah. Um, I think I got it in our half and I, um, was able to just turn and go at them. And initially I was going to go to the corner, um, since it was late in the game and then Sid kind of made a run and I was like, why not? I trust Sid every, every play with the ball to score. So, um, I was able to slip her through and it was a sick finish and, um, I'm super proud of her and how far she's come and, um, she's been great for us this season. And then, yeah, Becky kind of just allows us to play, um, just play. Um, and I think our offense has a lot of creative players. And I think that the more we play together and the more we're encouraged to just be fluid, um, the better we're going to get. And we're excited for the rest of the season. Go to Luis Carlos Pineda. Uh, hi, Erica. Congrats on the win. Uh, you came into the game and pretty much changed the pace in the mid. What were some pointers um, maybe Coach Burley told you before coming in to, to just change and disrupt the mid? Yeah, um, she told me to go out there and have fun. Um, obviously, coming in as a sub, you have fresh legs, and I think that's an advantage. So um, we're a goal up, and so they're kind of coming at us. So I kind of knew I had to come in and just bring a spark, bring some energy, um, maybe make some track back runs and just, like, really get the team going again. Um, and I think that – yeah, coming in as a sub, it's tough sometimes, but you also have fresh legs and you kind of just have to, you know, use that to your advantage, so. Got two more, we'll go back to Julia. Erica, that was a really tough second half just in terms of physicality, a lot of, you know, big challenges and fouls on both sides. Um, how do you think the team was able to just kind of stay, you know, together during that and not, you know, maybe give up a goal in some of those times when Chicago was just peppering those chances into the box? Yeah, I mean, we've gone through a lot of changes this year, but the one thing that's stayed consistent is just our work ethic and um, our determination to stay together, um, especially um, when we face adversity. And I think it shows in moments like that. I mean, they were coming at us for a while and people were blocking shots, people were tracking back. Sid was, who was our nine, was tracking back into our box and winning so many headers. So um, I think that's our identity, we're just going to work for each other and we're going to be gritty and we're going to um, pull it out. And then we we're able to get kind of a security goal. So, um, yeah, proud of this group. And last question with Mike Maho. Erica, obviously with this victory, the, the team does snap a six game winless run. Um, I mean, how do you kind of build on this result to kind of continue climbing up the standings? Because there is another half of the season to go. Um, and obviously, um, I mean, if you can just elaborate on that. Yeah, um, obviously three points is always great, but I think what we're more happy with is our performance and it's a place to build. Um, we were able to keep the ball, we were able to possess and we we're able to keep the ball with like intent to go forward and create. So I think as long as we just keep building on this, we're gonna be good and we're only gonna get better. And 
Um, yeah, 